From daily life as nuns to number one in the classical album charts, the poor Clares of Arundel have been overwhelmed by the reaction to their debut album, Light for the World. It gave me a big surprise. It was so popular. We didn't expect it at all, did we? No, we've, we're quite bemused because it's come out at this, at this lovely moment when people are desperate for some good news. And with patience and calm, they took to the recording process and dealing with music producers like pros. Sometimes he'd say, one more. <laughs> yes. And then what we were all hoping for him, we'd look and he'd smile and give the thumbs <laughs> up. So we knew that perhaps after 11 takes, we could, we could count, we, we had a good one. one. <laughs> yeah. This ancient order of nuns are no strangers to solitude, but understand that lockdown hasn't been easy for everyone. You know, so many people are lonely and on their own, but if they know that there is somebody praying for them or realises how much suffering they're going through, it does give them a little, hopefully, a little bit of comfort. We had an opportunity to reach out to perhaps millions of people, thousands of people that, that we would never know and who would never know us, but that we could get out to them a message of love and peace and goodwill and that love is a thing you can't, you can't, there are no boundaries, no. are there, for no. love? During a time of social distancing, these nuns have, through song, connected with the world, delivering their prayer and message through music. Anila Dami, 5 News.